I'm down in the New Forest today at Universal Turbos. I brought the VF23 Hybrid down today to get the wastegate ported. On the previous VF23 I had, when I had it mapped, we had to map up to 1.3 bar because we were experiencing quite a lot of boost creep. So I thought before we put the turbo onto the car, we'll get that wastegate ported. But it would be interesting to get the opinion of another turbo manufacturer just to see what they think of it. I'll let you know how it goes. Right, I've just picked up my turbo, which has now had the wastegate ported. Um, as I mentioned, it was Universal Turbos that did it. Uh, lovely chap there called James. Um, he actually gave me a full tour of their workshop. Um, he asked me not to take any photos, so I would have posted some of those on there. But they've got three balancing machines. They have the rooms where they split the turbos, paint the turbos, clean them. They've got new cores. Um, they also have a massive array of variations that you can do based on the TDO4 flange. Um, they have a TDO4 flange that can take Garrett bearings. So, really impressive that there's also more options available. Now, he had a good look at my turbo. Um, he gave me some feedback. So, when I get home, I'm going to get it out of this box. It's in the box here. I don't want to get it out in the car and go through what he saw, what his thoughts were on the turbo that I bought. Thank you. I'm back home now, and as you can see, the turbo is out of the box. I thought I'd take a moment to go through um, James's thoughts on the turbo and what's been done in terms of the wastegate porting, etc. Now, one thing that James made very clear when I spoke with him is he's not the sort of person who would say things against other turbo companies, so he just gave me his thoughts to put out there. Now, the first key point that he made, and really his only negative, is where this has all been coated, um, with, I'm guessing some kind of high heat paint or something, um, it has, it's been coated over scale. So I'm gonna to have to sort of shim down this surface a bit before I mount it up. But that's also why it's quite shiny there because what they did was they made sure that that was perfectly flat with the minimal skin possible to ensure that we've got a perfect mating surface for when that closes. Um, he said with the scale, there's just that potential of boost leak. So if you are buying one of these fast line turbos, I'd certainly consider just getting, even just getting that shimmed nice and smooth and obviously cleaning up your mating surfaces here. Now the port itself, I've got the calipers down there. It's been done to 28 millimeters, 2.8 centimeters. Um, I don't know that in inches, but you can probably see that on the scale. And he's gone through, through the turbo there. Um, he's also ported into there. So we've got a nice clear run for the exhaust gases to come out. So it's all smooth on the inside. That's what's been done to the turbo. Um, I'm not gonna be fitting it straight to the car. Uh, my next job is really get a nice clean oil change done on the car. Although unfortunately my current turbo is now really throwing some oil out. So I'm gonna have to get that done very locally. I'd like to then check my oil feed rates and everything before this goes on. Um, check the vent into my crankcase. So a few preventative measures for future. I'm guessing it's just the age of the turbo which caused the last one to fail, but I'll keep you updated. 